here we are in the Dorset Museum. We have a much different atmosphere than in the street. In the street, people are wary of us. They see us walking with the camera. Here, the people are more interested in the in the art on the walls, the sculptures. So they're 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 occupied with that, and they see us taking pictures. They assume that we're taking pictures of the art, so we're safe in that manner. So we can get in much closer now and cast our attention on the art by photographing the people's reaction to the art. This is a fantastic thing for anybody to do of any age. You don't need that many skills. The skills will take care of themselves. When you look at the subject and balance the subject with the art and get the uh, get the excitement that the person receives from the art. If you can catch something of that nature, the art and the person's smile or their insight into the art, then you are arriving at closeness of photography, closeness of documentation. Powerful photography without anybody getting excited, without anybody getting angry. And your intent is to show man at his finest, to show man at his best, and give it to the rest of the world so that we understand what photography is and what the power we have with a camera to do for the world with our visual poems. This is what we must do. We will walk together in a paradise, in a paradise of creation, something important. Very few of us ever get to do anything in our lives is something that will last 10,000 years on a wall somewhere with your name on it. We have to get close to humanity. We have to get closer to ourselves. We have to let our heart hold the camera strap into the situation.